In this video, we have a mass of 5 kilos is placed on a rough plane inclined at 25 degrees to the horizontal. A force of 15 newtons acting parallel to the plane can just prevent the mass from sliding down the slope. So let's draw a diagram so we can visualise what's going on. Here's my slope. It has, it's inclined at 25 degrees to the horizontal. Here is the mass, or the block and it has a mass of 5 kilos, so it's got a weight of 5g. We'll complete the triangle. So that angle's 25 degrees. That's a right angle. This is 5g sine of 25 degrees, and this is 5g cosine of 25 degrees. Now, there's going to be a normal reaction force because it's in contact with the surface. And a force of 50 newtons acting parallel to the plane could just prevent the mass from sliding down the slope. So the block wants to slide down the slope. There is this force of 50 newtons working against that, but because it's trying to go down the slope, the frictional force will be up the slope. Okay, my force there isn't very parallel. I'll just redraw that. Okay, so a bit better, a bit better like that. Okay, so the friction is actually going in the same direction as the 15 newton force. So, if I resolve parallel to the plane, taking up the slope as positive, we would have that the friction plus the 15 newton force take away the 5g sine 25 is equal to zero. Okay, because it's on the point of slipping, so it's not accelerating. So the friction here is 5g sine 25 take away 15. OK, so assuming that the friction remains constant throughout this problem, OK, um, which, because it's on the point of slipping, that's the maximum friction that will be applied, uh, we now move on to part A. The force has increased until the mass is on the point of sliding up the plane. What is the new value of the force? So let's edit our diagram here. So now we have a force pushing it up the plane. Let's call that P. The friction is now working against the direction of motion. And the friction here is the 5g sine 25 take away 15. Okay, so now if I resolve parallel to the plane, so this is for part A, resolve parallel to the plane, taking up the plane is positive, we're going to have P take away the friction, 5g sine 25 take away 15. Take away the 5g sine 25, And that's going to be equal to zero. So that implies that P is going to be um, 5G sine 25 plus 5G sine 25. So 10G sine 25 degrees. And we've got take away minus 15. So it's plus 15 over here. Take 15 when it moves over to the other side. So this is my force P. And... I can plug that into my calculator using G is 9.8. And that gets me 26.4 newtons to three significant figures. OK. Part B. The force is now increased to 80 newtons. So this is now 80 newtons. What is the acceleration of the mass up the plane? So now it's going to be accelerating up the plane, and we need to find it. So I'm going to resolve parallel to the plane again. We will have 80 newtons. Take away the friction, which was 5g sine 25. Take away 15. Take away the 5g sine 25. is going to be equal to the mass, 5, times by the acceleration, A. So the acceleration is going to be this left-hand side divided through by 5. Um, so we will have 80 
uh, take away 10G sine 25 and then plus 15, all divided through by 5. So this would be, so 80 plus 15 is 95, divided by 5 is 19. Take away 2G sine 25. So 19 take away 2 times 9.8 times sine of 25 gets us 10.7 metres per second per second to three significant figures.